idiots, create yourselves. You run around fucking assholes. Everybody has fucking hard times in school. I have hard times in school, you have hard times in school, your fucking mother have hard times in school, your fucking father probably had a hell of a hard time in school, and you ever will. But we all have hard times in school, we all have fucking ways to deal with it. We have, we get fucking through it, or we piss in our pants and get emo for the rest of our lives. Now, there's people in the world that pray to God that they will help them. You know, whatever works. We all have that pretend friend that we all prayed up to. Most of us usually had it until we were like from 0 to 12, but whatever works for you. You know, I don't get into religious people, I don't swing in there, but what the fuck? But here comes the thing. When a dude prays to God to give him power to get through a bad test or a fucking bad period of life, and you tell him, as a friend, you tell him, dude, you can get through this, it is all right, it is all nice. And he goes like, no, I can't get through this, oh, boo boo, fuck it, boo boo. Whatever, tough shit, tough luck, everybody has it. However, here comes the point. This motherfucker prays to God, oh, please, almighty, slaughtering, justifying, son of a bitch, help me get through this bad period of time, yada yada, etc, etc. I don't pray, so I'm fucking know how you guys do it. However, here comes the fun fucking fact. When this person gets through this horrible motherfucking time and gets through the test, let's say he's got fucking straight A's. Yeah, fuck yeah, it was better than he thought it was because he fucking laid in there. He did all what he could, he studied, he... Fuck yeah! You pat the motherfucker on the shoulder and say, Good work, idiot! You did it! You get fucking straight A's! And then the motherfucker goes... Ah, it was God's. It was... it was him. He helped me. It was his... What the fuck?! There is no fucking power out there that's giving you the power to do shit. No one can change anything but motherfucking you! Ugh. It's like... God is not sitting up there with a fucking pixie wand, having pixie fair dust up on your ass to fucking help you. And if you thank him for uh, fucking helping you through the bad test, why don't you fucking thank him for eating? Oh wait, no, you guys do that too. However, you do not fucking help him pray for the fucking Snickers bar. No, 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 no. God didn't create the Snickers bar. He only created a dinner that's on your table, yes, and he created the power that gave you to get through the hard fucking test. It's fucking ridiculous. Everybody has hard times, but you know why? Because that's life. Everybody has fucking hard times. You know how we get through them? Because we fucking force through them, and that's how we grow as a person. But when you sit there on your ass thinking that God saved your motherfucking ass, it's God. Ugh. Okay, no offense to you religious guys out there, or girls, or whatever the fuck swings your boat. But seriously, when you pray to that douchebag upstairs, as I refer to him, please, for the love of God, ah, let's see there, even, yeah, for the love of God, even in his name, take some fucking self-credit. It's not some higher power that gets you through hard shit. It's yourself. It's your friends. It's your motherfucking mother. I don't know, but it's you. Not some fucking Gandai, Allah, God, or anything that helps you get through life. So whenever you're having your next motherfucking test to your girlfriend broke up with you, deal with it! Th and after it, you can fucking say to your friends, Hey, I forgot that bitch. She was a hoe. Yes! Yes, I'm a stronger person now. Instead of going, oh, God help me, I'm not growing as a person because I'm thanking the Lord upstairs for the love of God.